my name's Mandy, and we're in the STEM lab at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Today, we're going to be answering the question, how does a space shuttle stay in space? The concept that we're going to be learning about is called centripetal force. We're going to need a couple different materials. String, scissors, a paper plate, a toy car, a balloon, and a marble. We're going to start with this paper plate, and then I'm going to cut three small holes along the edge. You might want to have an adult help with this. One over here. I'm kind of putting them in a triangle. I'm going to take my string, and I'm going to cut three strands. And I'm just going to take these three strings and I'm going to tie them to the holes I've created. What I'm going to do is take that little toy car, put it in the middle of my plate, and then I'm going to try and swing it around in a complete circle without flying my car off. So I'm going to stick it right in the middle. So I'm going to start swinging just a little bit, and here we go. For this one, we're going to start with a balloon. And I'm going to take my marble, it's kind of a hard part, and stick it into the top without losing the air. I'm gonna tie it, so I'm gonna turn it over. It's a little bit easier to hold from the knot, and I'm gonna swing my hand around in a circle, and then the marble is gonna move in a circle formation inside the balloon. It's gonna be pushing on the sides, and that's gonna be what's keeping it in, and that's centripetal force. So what does that mean? Centripetal force is the force that makes an object move in a circular motion. Without centripetal force, instead of orbiting a planet, the shuttle would fly off into space.